My spouse and his family forced me out with my newborn and insulted us. The old grandfather clock in the hallway struck midnight, its chimes echoing eerily through the empty house. Amelia stood outside on the porch, her breath visible in the icy air, clutching her newborn daughter, Lily, to her chest. The door slammed shut behind her, and the muffled sound of her husband, Daniel, and his family arguing reached her ears. Leave now. Daniel's voice was harsh, filled with anger. You and that baby are no longer welcome here. Amelia's heart pounded in her chest as she stared at the closed door, the cold night pressing in on her. Her pleas to be let back in fell on deaf ears. The weight of the situation pressed heavily on her shoulders, and she felt a mix of disbelief and despair. Little did she know, this heartbreaking moment was the beginning of a journey that would reveal hidden truths and challenge her resilience. Amelia had always dreamed of a loving family and a home filled with joy. When she married Daniel, she believed her dreams were coming true. Their relationship had started out full of promise, and the birth of their daughter, Lily, seemed like the perfect addition to their life together. But from the moment they moved into Daniel's family home, things began to unravel. His mother, Clara, and his brother, Tom, were not welcoming. Clara's disapproval was subtle at first, manifested in passive-aggressive comments about Amelia's parenting and choices. Tom's resentment was more overt with frequent outbursts and disdainful remarks. Despite Daniel's attempts to mediate, the atmosphere in the house grew increasingly toxic. The once-promised haven of love and support had become a battleground of criticism and conflict. Amelia felt isolated, her attempts to connect with Daniel's family thwarted by their unyielding hostility. The tension in the house reached a breaking point one chilly evening. Amelia had just returned from a doctor's appointment with Lily, exhausted but hopeful. She had hoped for a peaceful evening, but what awaited her was far from comforting. An argument erupted over Lily's feeding schedule, a trivial matter that somehow became a major point of contention. Clara, who had already been critical of Amelia's parenting, took this opportunity to launch a full-scale attack. Her harsh words about Amelia's abilities as a mother were cutting, and Tom joined in with his own insults. The argument escalated quickly, with Daniel caught between his wife and his family. Instead of defending Amelia, he chose to stay silent, his face a mask of indecision, the lack of support from Daniel left Amelia feeling betrayed and abandoned. The situation deteriorated rapidly. Clara, with a look of finality, declared that Amelia and Lily were no longer welcome in the house. Her voice was devoid of warmth, her words sharp and unforgiving. Daniel, his face a mix of guilt and resignation, made no attempt to intervene. Amelia was stunned. The reality of being forced out of the home she had tried so hard to make her own hit her like a freight train. With her belongings hastily packed, she found herself standing on the porch, the cold biting into her skin as she clutched Lily, who was now crying in her arms. The family's harsh words echoed in her mind, each insult a painful reminder of her humiliation. The betrayal from Daniel and his family felt like a profound wound that would be hard to heal. As the night wore on, Amelia wandered the streets with Lily, searching for a place to go. The winter storm had intensified, and the icy wind made every step a struggle. Just when she felt like she couldn't go on, a stranger appeared, a middle-aged woman with kind eyes and a gentle demeanor. The woman, who introduced herself as Margaret, offered Amelia a warm coat and a small bundle of blankets for Lily. She led Amelia to a nearby shelter where they could find refuge from the storm. Margaret's kindness was a small but significant comfort in the midst of Amelia's despair. Before parting ways, Margaret handed Amelia a small envelope, saying only, this might help you understand what's going on. Amelia, too weary to question it, accepted the envelope and tucked it away for later. The shelter provided a temporary reprieve from the cold, but Amelia's mind was racing. Once Lily was settled and asleep, Amelia opened the envelope. Inside was a letter and a photograph of Daniel's family, Clara and Tom, 
looking much younger and happier. The letter was from Margaret, who revealed a startling connection. Clara and Tom had been involved in a scandal many years ago, one that had been kept hidden. The scandal had involved financial deceit and a cover-up that had caused significant damage to others. Clara and Tom's hostility toward Amelia was, in part, an attempt to deflect attention from their past mistakes. Margaret's letter also included information about a legal case that had been settled in secret. Amelia was stunned. The revelation explained much about the hostility she had faced. The family's attempt to control and humiliate her was a misguided effort to protect their tarnished reputation. Determined to confront the truth, Amelia decided to return to Daniel's family home. She knew it wouldn't be easy, but she was driven by the need to uncover the full story and seek justice for herself and Lily. With Margaret's help, Amelia gathered evidence and prepared for the confrontation. When she arrived at the house, the atmosphere was tense. Daniel, Clara, and Tom were shocked to see her. Amelia presented the evidence she had collected, including the photograph and the details of the hidden scandal. Clara and Tom were visibly shaken, their composure crumbling as their secrets were laid bare. The confrontation was emotional and intense. Clara, faced with the reality of her past actions being exposed, broke down. She admitted to the deceit and expressed regret for her actions. The scandal that had haunted her family for years was now out in the open, and the weight of it was palpable. The aftermath of the confrontation was filled with mixed emotions. Daniel, confronted with the truth about his family's past and his own role in the conflict, was deeply remorseful. He realized the extent of the damage caused by his silence and inaction. Clara and Tom began to seek professional help to deal with their past traumas and work toward making amends. The family dynamic was strained but began to shift as they faced their issues head-on. Amelia and Daniel decided to take some time apart to evaluate their relationship and decide on the best path forward for their family. Emily and Lily found a new place to live, away from the toxic environment of the past. The experience had tested Amelia's resilience but also strengthened her resolve. She focused on creating a positive and supportive environment for Lily, determined to provide her daughter with the love and stability she deserved. Years later, Amelia looked back on the trials they had faced with a sense of bittersweet reflection. The journey had been painful, but it had also led to personal growth and a stronger sense of self. Amelia and Lily had forged a new path, one marked by resilience and hope. The old wounds had healed, and while the scars remained, they no longer defined her or her future. Amelia's journey from rejection and humiliation to self-discovery and empowerment was a testament to her strength and determination. As she watched Lily grow into a confident young girl, Amelia was reminded of the lessons learned and the strength gained. The painful memories of the past were now a part of their story, but they had created a new beginning filled with hope and possibility. This story combines emotional depth with a compelling mystery, aiming to engage viewers of varying ages. The themes of betrayal, Resilience and the search for truth are interwoven to create a narrative that is both poignant and gripping.